Right, so welcome back to the 10-6 Diaries, so this is episode number 13. So as last episode, we are going to start where we finished last time, which was running my season's best of 10.98, the plus 1.1 wind. So I had a cold, so I feel like there was definitely more to give, more to come. I feel like if I hadn't have had that cold, I maybe could have definitely gotten a bit closer to my PB. But you know, I'm just going to have to do that, I guess, you know, later on in the season. So, yeah, the day after that, I then did a lifting session, so that's what you're seeing on the screen now. I did some hip snatches and some squats, and I did a few other accessories. So, the reason I chose hip snatches, hip snatches is because it's less of a hamstring intensive you know, Olympic lifting variant. If you're doing like a hip variation of like themes, snatches, or you even do like power jerks, those are not really going to hit the hamstrings as much but you're still going to get some sort of training volume in which is always quite important so that's what I did did those and 66 kilos was moving really well I feel like I should have made it but I just sort of like messed up and hit the bar out too far in front of me which wasn't ideal but yeah it was a good session overall and I'm kind of surprised I was even like fresh enough to go and do that the day after I'd competed. Then did a little circuit day and then went on to the 30 metre flies which we're seeing now. So the 30 metre fly was honestly like one of the slowest sprints I've done this year. It's like 319 and I felt like I had lead boots on. I just felt like I couldn't get in like any rhythm with them whatsoever. I think that was like partially my fault so John had programmed this like it's not a new warm-up, I've done this warm-up before, but I've not done it for like a year. But essentially it had some like build-up sprints at the end of this warm-up. This is like, so my warm-up sort of split into like a basic sort of warm-up with like jogging, some multi-directional movements, then it's like some stretching, then it's like A skips, B skips, like some sprint drills. So after I do that, usually what I do is I go on to some build-up sprints, some like 50 meters. You know, 50 meter reps and trainers working the intensity up from like 70 to like 80% to 90% and so on. And that's kind of usually how I'll do it, but this like warm up that was programmed was like like I was doing the 50 meter build ups after I'd done sort of some of the multi directional movements. So I accidentally skipped over the stretching and the like skips, like the skip drills, the sprint drills, because it was sort of structured in a way where I'm like used to doing that after I've done that, so my mindset was sort of in there that I've kind of like done all that already, so it's time to move on to like sprints. So that kind of messed me up a little bit, and I think that partially played into why I was feeling like so shitty during that session. But, you know, got the session in anyway, didn't get injured thankfully, and then, you know, lifts I think as well just reflected the fatigue that I was sort of under after, you know, competing and doing those lifts on the Monday session. So then moving on, I was planning to do the session on my next session on the Friday. I ended up moving it to Saturday because I was feeling, you know, still really tight on the Friday. So I just did, I just had like a day off on the Friday completely and then on Saturday morning got the train up to Aberdeen and did my session there. It was a really nice track, I managed to get some blocks there and I ran a nice little PB for 45 metres. Running at over 10 metres per second for the 30 to 45 metre segment and I think it was like 2.02 for the 25 to 45 segment. So times were looking really good especially for six days post comp so I was feeling good about you know how training was going how the prep for the Scottish Championships was going and yeah everything was going swimmingly also did some jumps and did some lifts on that day and I really feel like I was you know like everything just felt really good on that day like lifts were fast jumps were high so it wasn't what much more that I could like ask for myself on that day honestly the only thing is my first 30 meters was a little slow on that 45 meter it but you know, still either way, like, I'm, I'm quite happy with how I did on that day. So then, going into the next week of training, it was like a deload week, so at this point I'm like three weeks out from the Scottish. So, this deload week, I was testing my 150, managed to ha get a half second PB in the 150, and then, you know, moving on to the weight room, I did some, I think, some hang snatches, some half squats, some quarter squats. It was feeling really good. I feel like, but my big sort of limiting factor with the 150 is just the fact that I've really not done much curve work with sprinting so I feel like that's sort of an area I can definitely work on like 
you know, the soft season starts next year, like next year, like early next year. And I feel like that will definitely help a lot. But yeah, so that session went quite well. I was feeling decent. Then I was looking forward to testing my 30 meter flies on the Wednesday. I was going to do just like four reps. But again, I sort of messed the wall up. I did the same as what I did last week. I was hoping to try and get into like the 2.9 sort of mid range for these. I feel like I was definitely, you know, on form to kind of do that after, you know, how training had went, you know, a few like on this on that Saturday session, how training had went. But as I say, I did that same thing, skipped over the stretching, skipped over the sprint drills and just basically went straight into sort of this max velocity sprinting. On the fourth rep after running 3.02, felt a little something in my hamstring, so shut the session down went and i went to the sauna after that just to try and you know take my mind off things a little bit but it was really really annoying to get the injury and i'm like 16 days out at this point so it's like it was looking probable that i might not be able to even you know go and compete at the scottish championships but i just wanted to play it by ear i think like a big thing with injuries is just actually listening to the body and seeing how it responds to doing different things I think moving as well is certainly like a major key, like there's, I've like detailed, I've went over it before when I went through like my big hamstring injury earlier in the year, went over sort of the importance of just getting, you know, some sort of movement as soon as possible, just to start that recovery process, so thankfully this wasn't, this injury wasn't too bad, I was able to get back to you know, like sprinting at 95% after just one week and then, you know, I was able to do some max effort stuff. In the lead up to the Scottish Championship, so after, you know, doing the final session, I ran some, you know, fast, fast 30s, so one of, some of my fastest 30s ever, and this was like, you know, three days out, so I was feeling quite confident about how things were going, but I think what essentially had happened is I sort of like probably peaked around about you know, day 10, 11, you know, 13 was sort of like the the come down from the peak. I was starting to kind of, you know, my form was starting to decay almost. And then after that, there's not really much you can do to like build in the volume. But at the same time, it's like I didn't want to really build the volume back into training because I didn't want to do too much too soon with the hamstring. So there was like, that was in the back of my mind, but it was also like, you know, it's like it's really hard it's like the balancing act of like trying not to do too much but trying to still keep some sort of training volume i feel like i did an all right job of it but it's like i feel like in this situation that i was in it's just very hard and you just really need to like listen to your body and be smart thankfully i did manage to compete at the scottish championships i did manage to get in you know three healthy runs so, you know, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised that I didn't get any sort of negative, that I didn't get any injuries, anything like that. So that was, I guess, like, that was nice. But times weren't what I was, like, hoping for, obviously, after kind of coming off sort of a high of running, you know, back-to-back -back season's bests. I was hoping for something a little more, but as I say, I think my form had just sort of decayed a little bit and I just was not sort of in a peak state or a state where I would perform well. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's like, as I say, like for me, the first sort of like few years of my like, sprint journey, like I'm technically only like two years into it. So it's like it's all just sort of like a massive like learning experience, like, massive learning curve. And as long as I can come out of meets and say that I can, you know, take something away from it, I think that's like the biggest thing and that's the biggest thing that I can take. So I definitely have taken a lot away from this experience, and I look forward to. You know, using this to better myself in the future and I think that's the main thing so I'm gonna finish up with sort of the, the commentary section here you met the next thing you'll hear will be like my thoughts before the race the night before but yeah that's it for me today so I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you in the next one hopefully
to this is the D4 Destroy Championship Spider Pad. Some pretty solid sessions in the lead up to Scottish. I've had my fastest outdoor 30 minute time of the year on Wednesday, so I'm feeling quite hopeful that I'm going to be able to make a tough shape to do something well, quite a bit. And, you know, fun. Hopefully, I have, I did get a little bit of our duck pitch on the final left of the third on the Wednesday. It's three days, it'll be like three days best since then, so I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to sort of like. Half me to make me have to not have any kind of add up to but I think I will probably, you know, drop out the road of so I drop out what I expect to have if there is any sort of food because I don't want to, you know, get another day to have a hams, hams wings get about 15 days ago, 16 days ago, so that's something else that's on my bottom line. So it's wise not to push too hard too soon, but, you know, at the same time, I think if I feel good enough, I should definitely make push. And you know, so I can do, but I think it's supposed to be quite bad weather and I it's going to be heavy and rainy. I think it's definitely going to be rainy, but I'm not sure if it's going to be rainy. But I will see, so we've got fresh, so we go from skipping, so I hope that will be fast and we'll take these and we'll be able to have it with the skip. So hopefully that works out well for me, but I'm yeah, just seeing this little holiday go as well that my mum and my aunt are in. So, I'm you know, a bit closer, I don't have to drive as far, so it's still like an hour and five minutes to drive, but not too bad, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to hopefully you know, doing, I'd like to do better than last year, the goal to make the final last year, it's looking pretty stacked honestly in terms of what's presented, and it's whether or not like everyone that's in it shows up on the day, but I think, you know, making the final would be nice, but as I say, like, I think the main goal is honestly just to, you know, erase, you know, to, to come out healthy, I think that's like the main goal. It would be really nice to just get one race in as well and then, you know, if there's like tightness after that, I can see that would be quite ideal. But, you know, yeah, it would be very nice to, you know, be able to get to the final, but, as I said, I'm just going to listen to my body because we're going to get injured this week of season. I've got fans who hopefully have a competition and then we're going to be able to the start of September, sorry. So that should be a good one, hopefully, once I'm kind of, you know, going to get off the road and feel kind of like good about the season. So, last time I raced around 10 and 8, I'm going to head to bed and I'm going to take quite a minute and I'm going to go to sleep. So, my routine before I eat, usually I go off to bed, I won't meditate for maybe 10-15 minutes. I just visualise like a sort of recovery process from like my head down to like my toes. I just like visualise like the energy from like the feet I've eaten today, from like, you know, just walking around and enjoying like these scenes with like good vibes and like hang out with friends or just like things like that. I like, visualise that sort of energy being used to keep like, cool my body and like, cool my muscles. It sounds weird, but it's just kind of like what I've done for the past week. Like, I think like you also kind of like, put like, it does anything, but yeah, it's just like the energy that you get from 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 the energy that so, anyway, I'm gonna head to so, uh, the next footage. You'll see the baby some warm ups so if I get some warm ups. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. 